The Israeli army calling it the deadliest strike on Israeli civilians since October 7th. Officials say at least 10 people were killed by rockets fired from Lebanon. It's the biggest escalation yet in what has been a simmering conflict across Israel's northern border. Officials say the rockets struck a football pitch in the Golan Heights, a contested territory going back several decades now. Journalist Elliot Gotkin is joining us now, and Elliot Hezbollah has denied anything to do with this attack, which did kill children. Israel, not convinced by that. What more are you learning? Uh, Jessica, um, since Hezbollah started firing on Israel in solidarity with Hamas on October the 8th, Israel says that it's fired more than 5,000 projectiles towards, its, uh, to, towards Israel. And so I suppose understandable that Israel would make Hezbollah the prime suspect. Indeed, Israel says that the rocket that killed um, the uh, teens and young adults, and the death toll now seems to be 11, according to Daniel Hagari, a spokesman for the uh, IDF, uh, that that came from a village called Cheba in southern Lebanon. It's about a couple of kilometers north north of the border. And according to what Israel describes as reliable intelligence information, Hezbollah was behind it. And as you say, um, this uh, was, according to Israel, the uh, deadliest strike on uh, uh, innocent uh, civilians uh, inside of Israel since uh, October the 7th. And uh, I suppose that the, the big question now is what will the response from Israel be? And then what would Hezbollah's response be to that? We've already heard from Israel's uh, foreign minister, Israel Katz, saying uh, in his words, that we are approaching the moment of all-out war in the north against Hezbollah. And certainly there are uh, some of the more right-wing members of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition uh, demanding uh, that Israel no, now go to all-out war with uh, Hezbollah. Um, but certainly that has not happened thus far. It's been almost 10 months uh, and counting, and uh, it, it, it's unclear if this is what is going to uh, move what's been a simmering conflict into one that uh, one that boils over. So certainly uh, we will now be awaiting the uh, response uh, from Israel to uh, this to this attack, Jessica.